Hello friends, I'm back with a look at the latest E-Flight Warbird, the 1.2 meter P47 Razorback. This video will be an unboxing and assembly of the plane. This is a bind and fly basic, so it's a plane in the box with no battery. As usual, a very nicely packed plane from E-Flight. A quick rundown of the specs for you guys. You have a size 15 brushless motor, 880 kV, 40 amp ESC, 9 gram servos, 10 and a half inch four blade prop, AS3X receiver with safe. And this plane also does come with flaps and retracts installed. You can see some FMS influence with the extra details, including two bombs, two rocket pods, and a center drop tank. And in case you're wondering, all these details add up to 47 grams of extra weight. They'll add a bit of drag to your airplane, but they do look good. The wing is one piece with the servos and linkages for the flaps and ailerons pre-installed. The fuselage is complete with the rudder and linkage installed as well. Elevator halves with a spar are provided, and you have a 10.5 inch four-bladed prop. There's also a small plastic bag with all the hardware and details inside. You have the wheel stickers provided in the bag. You have three Y harnesses for the ailerons, flaps, and gear. You have the plastic pieces for the wing guns, and that's the only thing that you have to glue into place with assembling the airplane. You also have the prop adapter pieces. The spinner, the two screws for the horizontal stabilizer, and the four screws for the wing are also in a bag. And just to note, the lag screws for the wing are a star or a Torx type configuration, so you need the right tool for tightening those. You don't want to use the wrong tool because you might strip them out. I'd rather see these as a Phillips or flathead, but that's just the way they are. Finally, you'll find a bind plug in that bag as well. Let's talk about the assembly. It's quick, of course, but there are a few things that I want to mention. Don't forget the horizontal stabilizer spar. Make sure you, when you put the horizontal stabilizer and elevator in place that the parts fit completely, especially the elevator halves. They can look together, but they may have an uneven movement if you flex them. So make sure that they're completely in place and that both halves move evenly. Also be careful with those screws. If you slip, you can easily pop a hole into the foam. So take your time putting that into place. With the wing again, same thing. Take your time with the four screws. I did find that one of the flap servo leads was quite short and it was easier to attach the Y harness to the lead before putting the wing on and attaching that lead to the receiver. So if you have a short lead, that's the easier way to do it. The wing did take a little adjusting to get all four screws to line up correctly. So take your time with that and again, don't punch a hole in that foam. I slowed down the flaps to two seconds in the radio so that they're not dropping really fast. The retracts work perfectly fine. The oleo struts are just for looks. There's no spring suspension here. Overall, the paint and the foam looks very good. I like the silver and the blue. You have some nice decals. You have rivet details molded into the foam. Nice plastic part details as well. Now the cowl is foam and part of the fuselage, so if you scrape it or damage it, you're looking at either repairing it or getting an entirely new fuselage. So no plastic cowl, unfortunately, so be careful with that. The canopy has plastic finger grips for easy removal, so there's no floppy piece of tape sticking up. That's a nice little touch there. The retracts are raked forward a bit, which should help with the grass landings. And then of course you also have the extra details, the bombs, the rocket launchers, and the center drop tank. So all in all, Lots of nice details with this model. It definitely looks good. You've got a large battery compartment. The 3-cell 2200 gets kind of lost in there, so some larger packs will definitely fit without a problem. I'm going to first fly with that pack all the way forward, and then we'll see if the CG looks pretty good in that spot. Well, that's a quick summary of the P47 build. It goes together very easily. Just a few minor things to point out, as I mentioned. Hopefully, I'll have some flight videos soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.